Hello everyone and welcome to another video and episode number four of The Wintering. So obviously at this point if you haven't seen episode one, two and three then go and do so as from a completely biased point of view they are sick let me tell you. So today is 50 kilometers on my feet. Gonna get straight to it. Training run aiming for 5.30 to 6 minute per k pace throughout. Gonna go 5.30 for the first 20k, 5.45 for the second 20k and then push to 6 minutes per kilometer relative to my heart rate as predicted but the real aim is going to be between 140 and 150 beats per minute throughout but that is boring data that i will run you through as we go before we go any further gymshark black friday sale is still going on and i have chosen the top that has been discontinued which is terrible product marketing from my point of view but there is loads of stuff on sale up to 70 percent off selected lines so do go and use the link in my description to grab yourself some stuff before it's gone be fast or be last my friends as well as that if at any stage you do enjoy the video do drop it a like do comment down below with what content you want to see in the future and i'm running 50 kilometers so please do subscribe to make this all somewhat justified because at this point with the weather forecast it's gonna rain thanks ollie i'm not feeling all that great about the thought of five hours on my feet but nonetheless i'm gonna crack on i'm gonna have a good time don't you worry about that and throughout it i'll keep you posted what's going on how i'm feeling how things are progressing and then at the end i will give you a bit of a debrief on the musings and reflections that i've had throughout the run so i'll see you at the union canal in three two one the union canal so for those that don't know if you're a long time viewer of the channel you will know how many miles i've done on this canal i spoke about it in detail on last week's video so if you want to go back and see all of that you know where to go i think at this point all i really need to do is get my heart rate connected and that was quick that was annoyingly quick i've got to start running soon god's sake and then once the gps is good to go Apparently, so am I. Oh no. Goodbye. All right, so just hit the 5K mark, feeling absolutely solid at this point. And the rain has actually turned out to be quite a refreshing temperature. It's a bit windy as well, I can't really tell which way it's going, but nothing I can do about it, so it is what it is. And again, to use my second Royal Marines phrase, proverb, if you will, as part of this wintering series, if it ain't raining, it ain't training. Look at that clean water. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. So, what we're going to do on this run is just reflect, use the opportunity as a chance to just really, really consider why endurance training has changed my life for the better, really. So I'm gonna have that thought in my head. I'm gonna carry it with me for the remaining four and a half hours. And now at the end, I'm gonna give you a bit of a debrief slash verbal diarrhea on all the reasons I've come up with, all the things that matter and all the lessons I've learned from it. So keep your eyes peeled for that, eh? k down in 54 27 moving well heart rate's quite low which is nice um moving at about 5 29 5 30 bang on quite quiet starting a bit later than i did last week here just because of uh, when i could get campbell on camera uh, but i think most of the foot traffic on the way out of edinburgh was people going to the rugby which kicks off in an hour or so so moving well I will update you in 10 kilometers time.
20k up in 151.35 so to be perfectly honest at this point it feels a bit more laborious physically than it did at this point last week on my 40k run so a bit of a pain but still moving at a very steady pace heart rate steady and in terms of the pace that i'm aiming to maintain today i'm a bit ahead of the curve of where i want to be so without giving too much away there is a specific pace range that i'm shooting for at the moment for an event a challenge something exciting that i may be going to give a go before the end of the year so keep your eyes peeled for that but there is a specific pace that i'm after today relative to my heart rate as part of my training for what might or might not happen so talk about a cryptic interlude there And 25k done to 2012. So, ugh, gonna get that exchanged in there. Bit of a top up. I did say I'd see you at 30k, so I'm a big fat liar at this point, as this is 25k. But what I will now do, once this soft flask is in place, is get moving again. 220, 39, so that was about 30 seconds of rest. I will see you at 30k. So 30k done in 250.02, little twirl and goodbye. Okay, so just at the 43 and a half K point, marathon was 4.03.43, I believe. So moving at a decent pace, but I've just basically allowed myself one kilometer of walking at this point. Because I'm ahead of pace and with ultra stuff, walking is just as much, as much a part of it as running is. So I'm just sort of getting used to how awful this feels under fatigue and then back to running, which is a proper mental battle. But it's starting to hurt at this point, to be honest. Physiologically, I'm pretty beaten up. Um, feel a bit sick I think had a gel it was out of date which is obviously not recommended don't do that at home kids but we're still moving I've got 400 meters left of walking and then 6k home straight and I will see you there it's horrifying to think I've ran three times this
So, job done. 4.79, wow. I think I need some glycogen. 4.57, where did I get 79 from? 4.57.59, so sub five hour 50K, which between you and I, following on from my conversation earlier, is exactly what I was hoping for today. But let's take a seat, let's take a seat. Because, whoa. You know, during that run, I just took the opportunity to think a little bit about basically how important endurance training has become to me and why that's so integral to part of this wintering series and why it means so much to me long term, why I think it can benefit us all. So, I mean, when I was younger, the smallest bit of adversity, the smallest knockback, the smallest mistake that I made would knock me for sex and I've really struggled to cope with it. I've always been very self-critical. I've always taken on way too much at once. I've always tried to be as productive and sort of growth mindset -y as possible from a very young age which means that when I didn't have a sort of fluid view on uh, adversity knockbacks etc it really knocked me back and that's ultimately what led me to suffering with depression and ultimately suicide attempt in 2016 as I speak about quite openly here but on that run there I was just thinking about just how important an opportunity my Saturdays have become my low intensity long distance running on the bike in the hills whatever it is that is my opportunity to block out the white noise of the world basically go head to head with my own ego and just determine what's important to me, what have I done well this week, what could I do better, what might haven't I done so well at, be honest with myself about all that and actually just confront the, the sort of inner version of myself and what that does is allows me to reflect and consider all the things on a day to day basis that I can move forward with. So I used to be sort of 105 kilo, 15 year old rugby player who wouldn't run more than 100 yards if you didn't have to. And then I went from that to being sort of fitness fanatic and then powerlifting for years. And there is a real fight mentality in lifting, Metcon stuff, CrossFit, that's great. And it really teaches you to just put yourself in the bed and grind through it. But the battles that you have with yourself out there on long, real endurance events, training sessions, so many times in my own head today, I really just wanted to sack it. I was thinking about giving the car keys to Campbell, telling him to go on the bike back and just pick me up because I couldn't be bothered. I wanted to be at home with Aaron and the dogs. It was getting dark, it was a bit cold, couldn't be arsed, but here we are. I'm a better person for it now. So that's why it's become so important to me and why I'm so much more resilient for it. But I just thought I'd verbal diarrhea you and hit you with that because maybe there's some things from that you can take away as well because you can't get through stuff like that on ego. You will can it if you're driven by ego. So if you've got intrinsic desires to push yourself, develop yourself, really go head to head and toe to toe with yourself on a day to day basis, I don't think there's any better way to do it than endurance training. So that's that from me there. Let's get some stats up on the screen. So as I said, 50 kilometers, you would have been pretty naive to have missed that at this point, I think. Time 457.59, average pace 558 per kilometre, calories 3,563, data will be on the screen for you as well somewhere. Average heart rate 143, that is significantly better than last week, so that is very, very encouraging. I say again, a lot of fatigue in my legs from some heavy lifting this week. I had 200 for two squats on Monday, right here. Moved all right, happy with how they were, felt worse than they looked. Then I deadlifted after that, worked up to 200 for a really smooth double, which is right here. Honestly moved a bit slower than I expected because I was kind of trying to be really tight and controlled off the floor. But I'm just going to go back to gripping and ripping it. And then Thursday later in the week, 1.30 for a double on bench, which moved pretty well. And that's without having a handout. And excuse me, recently I've determined how much a handout actually helps me. So hopefully there's something exciting, strength and endurance related on the card soon. Any guesses down below? Final thing for me is all of the brands that I'm lucky enough to work with directly and very kindly support me with everything that I get up to from a mental health, from a training, etc. point of view. They've all got mad deals going on and loads of things at the moment, so without listing them one by one, just head to the link in my description and take your pick from whatever's there and there's discounts all across the board. If there's a discount code you can apply for me as well, try it, it'll be in the link in the description. Otherwise, there's sales left, right and rhubarb at the moment, so go and get involved. They're all value-led brands. I'm very excited to work with them all, so I'm not even slightly ashamed of plugging that at the end of this video. So that is it for me. Obviously, if you haven't already, do drop the video a like, comment down below with your thoughts, feelings, and what you want to see from the rest of the wintering series. And if you haven't subscribed already, then just get it done, for the love of God. Why wouldn't you have done that by now? Honestly, anyway. I'm gonna go and eat my body weight in food, and if the plumbing wasn't broken on the bath, would have a bath, but alas, drive home and a lonely, sad, curled up, fetal position crying shower for me. So, see you up there next week. Yeah.